We're here to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, istighfar. And once in Medina, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam heard the complaints of the Sahaba who had said the rain was delayed. And so after the Jum'ah prayer, he went up to the, uh, he, he, he spoke to the people and he said, you have complained about the delay of the rain and about the dryness of your earth. وَقَدْ أَمَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ أَنْ تَدْعُوا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered you that you make dua to him. وَوَعَدَكُمْ أَنْ يَسْتَجِيبَ لَكُمْ And he has promised you that he will respond. ثُمَّ قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ الرَّحْمَنَ الرَّحِيمِ مَالِكِ يَوْمِ الدِّينَ Then the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of creation, الرحمن الرحيم, the Master مَالِكِ يَوْمِ الدِّينَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا لا إله إلا الله يفعل ما يريد. There is no God except Allah, and He does whatever He pleases. اللهم أنت لا إله إلا أنت. O oh Allah, You are the one who there is none other than You. الغني the independent. ونحن الفقراء and we are the ones in need. أنزل علينا الغيب. Descend upon us rain and help from the heavens, Ya Allah. وَجْعَلْ مَا أَنزَلْتَ لَنَا قُوَّةً وَبَلَاغًا إِلَحِينَ And make what you have sent down for us provisions to get us to the afterlife. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reminded us and taught us in this beautiful way that our istisqah, our seeking of rain is through istighfar, is through seeking forgiveness. And he reminded us of what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has promised to us. He ordered his Prophet Nuh alayhi salam, فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمُوا إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا So Nuh alayhi salam said to his people, seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the all-forgiving one. يُرْسِلَ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا He will send down the heavens with rain. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. We ask him for istighfar. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his khutbah of Jum'ah would remind people to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have this presence of the orders and the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, staying away from the prohibitions and fulfilling his commands outwardly and inwardly. And during the khutbah of Eid, the theme was takbir, reminding us that it's a day of celebration and that we glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the khutbah of istisqa, the speech of this prayer, is to remind us to do istighfar, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. And it's a reminder to us that we will make mistakes. And we have made mistakes as humanity, as individuals. We have made mistakes. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will hold back the rain from the heavens when we make those type of mistakes. And so corruption in the earth, in the earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that the fasad, corruption has become apparent in the oceans and in the land. Bima kasabat nas for what our hands, for what our hands have done as human beings. And so the reminder for us is that to bring back the rains that have been held back, we make this stuff wow. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And it's a reminder to us of our humanity. If in the Jum'ah we're reminded to stay away from the Haram, to stay away from the prohibition, in this istisqa we are reminded that we we did make we, we have made mistakes, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is giving us a way to turn back to Him. He is giving us istighfar, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us in the Quran, in Allah Yuhibbu Tawabin, Allah loves those who repent to Him, and there can be no people who repent to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala unless they make those mistakes, unless they commit something that is forbidden, unless they leave something that is an obligation. But when they turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and when we turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we become from the tawwabin, from those who turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in tawbah. And Allah loves those who turn back in tawbah. We turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in tawbah. And we ask forgiveness for our sins and for the sins of our brothers and sisters all over the world who have done this. We are reminded too that it might not be something that we did here. It might could, it might have been something that has been that has been perpetrated against the, the, the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another place. 
Allah reminds us in the Quran, وَاتَّقُوا فِتْنَةَ النَّاسُ صِيبَنَّ الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْكُمْ خَاصَ Fear, a fitna, a tribulation that will not only affect those who were oppressors, it will affect other people as well. We don't know why these fires are happening. We don't know why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is holding back rains that could put these fires out. It might be something that we did. It might be something that our state did, that our nation did. It might be something that's been perpetrated against humanity on the other side of the world. But why is it? Why is it that other people will fall into the punishment when it comes down? And the Sahaba clarified this to us. They said, because we are silent. We are silent. Even if somebody else does something that's wrong, we have to speak up against it. And so this is a reminder to us to not only hold our own limbs accountable for what we do and keep our limbs back from doing things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, but we also have a, have a duty, a, uh, a fard upon us, an obligation to remind other people as well, to be from the people who make amr bin ma'roof and nahi al munkar, enjoining righteousness and forbidding evil. And we're reminded though, even in that, even if we fall short in our own actions, even if we fall short in not reminding and ordering other people of their actions, at the end of the day, if we come to terms with our humanity and we make istighfar, we seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah can send us to heaven just for that. And He did not tell us to make a complete tawbah. He didn't say, Tubu in Allah, and then He will send down the heavens. He said, Make istighfar, seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Istighfar is the process of seeking that forgiveness, even if we know we might go back to committing some of those things. Toba is the process where we completely leave something and we change our life and we never go back to it. That is a true Toba. The Toba Tim Nasuha that Allah tells us in the Quran, Watubu Allahi Toba Tim Nasuha. Turn in a true repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the order for istisqaf and the order that Nuh alayhi salam told his people to do, to bring the heavens down with rain, is istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we have to be constant in this uh, process of seeking forgiveness. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. We also have to remember the compassion that we should have for not only ourselves and our family and our fellow human beings, but all the animals that are affected by these fires. And all of the, the plants that are affected by these fires. And we're asking for the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come down through our istighfar, through this prayer, through turning in, uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere repentance. We're asking for that rain to remove this tribulation from us and from the children and from the animals and from the plants. The early tradition of the Muslims for this prayer of istisqah was that they would bring out the weak and the old and the women and the children to present themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say, we need the rain, all of the all of the people in the community, we need the rain, send down the rain upon us. And so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send down the rain upon us. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. When we look to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to show us what it is that we need to do, he told us, and he told, as he told the Sahaba, to make the istighfar and to ask for the rains, and that those rains also be something that leads us to Jannah. We're not asking for the rains to preserve our dunya. We're not asking for the rains to preserve our stay here on earth, just for our stay here on earth. It's for us to get to the next stage of our lives, the akhirah, the, uh, the next life. We do want the preservation of the dunya. And we are worried about our, our brothers and sisters in Islam and our brothers and sisters in humanity whose, whose homes and whose lives and whose health are at, 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 at in danger because of this. And we feel sad for those brothers and sisters of ours in Islam and in humanity who have lost their homes, as one Muslim family in Bakhtabil did on the fire. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring down mercy upon them and to make their, their, their suffering easy and to reward them for what they've experienced and to 
remove this tribulation of these fires so that we don't have more people perish. And the, Allah, and the Prophet also taught us in his dua, asking for rain. Allahumma, la taqtulna bi ghadabika wa la tuhlikna bi adabika wa afina qabla dhalika. Oh Allah, do not let us perish due to your anger. And do not destroy us due to your punish with your punishment. And give us well-being before that. Give us afina. That's what we are asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send down upon us. To send down upon us. Pleasant things. When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would ask for the rain, he would also ask not only for rains that are ghayt and beneficial, but that are not harmful. And that the, the clouds when they come and the, and the winds when they come, that they are not harmful. Some of these fires that we're seeing right now are from a storm that happened where the lightning fires uh, began the, the, the fires. So these fires that we are tribulating and being choked with right now began through rain. We're not asking for the rain of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that comes with a punishment. We're asking for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the names of rain that's in Arabic and is mentioned in the Quran is rahmah, is a mercy. So we're asking for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the general sense and in the specific sense of rain. And we're asking that this rain that's sent down upon us and this the winds that, that come with it are not winds that increase the fires, that the winds that cool the fires and put the fires out. And we're asking for a coolness to be brought to this fire, just as like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a coolness to the fire that Ibrahim alayhi salam was sent into, and he told the fire, Kuni barna wa salam, and be peace, be, be cool and peaceful. We ask for that. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Salatu wa salam wa ala rasulihi al-kareem. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you have complained about the dryness of your houses. And the delay of the, the rain. And Allah has ordered you to make dua to him. And he promised you that he will answer. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm Al-Deen. La ilaha illa Allah, yaf'alu ma yureed. Allahumma anta la ilaha illa ant al ghani wa nahnu al fuqara. Oh Allah, you are the independent and we are the ones in need. Anzir alayna al ghayb. Send down upon us the ghayb. Send down upon us rain. Allahumma aghithna. Allahumma aghithna. Allahumma aghithna. Oh Allah, send upon us the rain, the beneficial rain. Waj'al ma anzalta lana quwwatan wa balaghan ilaheen. And make what you have sent down upon us something that allows us to get to the next life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and we, we present ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the early Muslims presented themselves in the lowest of our fashions, recognizing our mistakes and recognizing our weaknesses and recognizing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not owe anything to us. We also know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send down rains upon a person who is disobedient to him, out of his karam. How much generosity has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already given to us? And we're not the best people. This shoulder cloth that I'm wearing is from one of the Sadiqeen, the righteous men in Mauritania, Sheikh Muhammad Zain al Idrisi al Hassani. This blue shoulder cloth. And there was a man who was known in the, in the area for not praying most of his prayers. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to establish the five daily prayers. And so if we do not pray the five daily prayers, we are in a state of sin. And it was known that this man would not pray most of his prayers. And even when people would ask him about praying, he would he would just brush it off. But one day he went to the village of Sheikh Muhammad Zain, this man who I'm wearing his shoulder cloth. And on the way back in the desert, he became overcome with thirst. And so he raised his hands to Allah, to the heavens, and he said, Ya Allah, astaini, astaini, give me something to drink. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down the heavens with rain for him. A reminder to us that when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not just because we're righteous or we do good deeds. It's because of the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Rubba ash'atha aqdara law aqsama ala Allahi la abar. Sometimes there are people who are disheveled. Not just physically, 
but also spiritually. But if they raise their hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give them something. Why? Not because of that person's righteousness, not because of our righteousness, but because of the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is given out of his generosity. All he asks from us is turn and ask. Be humble and ask. Recognize our weakness and ask. He's not asking from us perfection. He's asking that we turn to him. And this is why we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, 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 to send down the heavens, to bring us mercy, to bring us the rahmah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings with the heavens. Alhamdulillah, I join you and I join myself to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in istighfar. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make istighfar, seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala many, many, many times during the day. And we are reminded to bring that sunnah back into our life. If the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can ask for, his, for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala many times, over 70, over 80, over 100 times a day, then we can do it too. We can turn to istighfar and we can remind ourselves and those watching at home, we're reminding you and we're reminding ourselves to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in istighfar. Allahumma asqina ghaifan mughifa, hani'an ghadaqa, aajilan ghayra aajilan mujalliran sahhan tadaqan daiman, oh Allah, Bless us with abundant and pleasant rainwater that will deliver us from this calamity. Immediately rather than delay, one that fills the entire horizons and pounds hard on the earth, completing, covering our lands, lasting as long as is needed. Allahumma stina ghaifan mughifa, nari'an muri'a, nafi'an ghayra darin ajilan ghayra ajilan, oh Allah. Send upon us helpful, wholesome, and healthy rain. Beneficial, not harmful rain. Now, not later, Ya Allah. Allahumma aghithna. Allahumma aghithna. Allahumma aghithna. Oh Allah, relieve us. Oh Allah, relieve us. Oh Allah, relieve us. Allahumma sti ibadaka wa ibadaka wa baha'imak. Wanshur rahmatak. Wa ahli baladak al mayyit. Oh Allah, provide water for your servants and your cattle. Spread out your mercy and resurrect your dead land. Allahumma la taqtulna bi ghadabik wa la tuhlikna bi adabika wa afina qabla dalika. Oh Allah, do not let us perish due to your anger and do not destroy us with your punishment and give us well-being before that. La ilaha illa ant yaf'alu taf'alu ma turid. Allahumma anta la ilaha illa ant al-ghani wa nahnu al-fuqara. Anzil alayna al-ghayb wa jal ma anzalta lana quwwatan wa balaghan ila hain. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Aliki Yawm Al-Din. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'in. Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeen. Sirat Al-Lalim An'amta Alayhim Ghayr Al-Mirdhubi Alayhim Wal-Qalim. سبح اسم ربك لا على الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غذاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسر فذكره نفعة الذكر سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصر النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيى قد أفلح من زكى قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل توجرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلع من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت تموت بقواها إن بعد أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فعقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها فلا يقاف عقباها الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله